Shalom. Happy New Year, by the way. As we approach the Feast of Unleavened Bread, it makes sense for us to look into and talk about the testing of your flesh. Because the Feast of Unleavened Bread tells the story that your entire life is a test. It's one big test with a series of smaller tests throughout the entire time. And to help us understand and see that, we begin Job chapter 23, verse 8. It says something like, Behold, I go forward, but he is not there. Backward, but I cannot perceive him. On the left hand, where he doth work, but I cannot behold him. He hide himself on the right hand, that I cannot see him. But he know the way that I take. When he have tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Right? Not trial. What's that? A test of the performance qualities or suitability of something or someone like a new business venture or maybe when you buy a new car right right you call it a test drive but another way you could say it some people call it a trial run and so job here recognizes that life itself is a test which is what the narrative or the whole storyline behind the feast of unleavened bread is showing us that life is a test Right. But we all know Job was given another test on top of just being alive every day. Right. During Job test, he admitted that he couldn't get through to God. Yet he clung to the confidence that God is still over the crisis. Also, this statement tell me five things about Job understanding. Now, right. Check this out. Pick this. Number one, God still observed Job carefully and had not forgotten him. He knows the way I take. Number two, God had a purpose in the crisis, and the purpose was not to punish Job when he has tested me or tried me, right? Right? Uh, Three, God will one day bring the trial to an end because he said, I shall come forth. Four, Job would bring something good from all of it. I shall come forth as gold. God going to bring forth something good, that is. And number five, God, God thought of Job as a precious metal, right? Like gold. Right. So now Job is accepting his testing because he knows I shall come forth as gold. This image that's drawn from metallurgy doesn't necessarily imply purification. It could simply mean that the test proves that he was gold all along. And that's pure G. (laughs) Hey, day one of the feast. Turn up, boy. Ready for the test. What's up?